if you were traveling on holiday or something to Florida and you had to just you know as an example as maybe. an example just throwing <laughs> that out there you know maybe the Caribbean what what can you what can you do like you know if your trip's ruined what what can you how can you plan ahead for that well if we're talking about the storm that's making its way to us right now Isaac then that's something that you really can't do much about right now because for travel insurance and other sort of protection plans that you would purchase you have to do it before there's a storm that you're worried about in oh, particular. Oh, that seems a bit unsporting. It is. This is this is a little bit too late, <laughs> but there might still be something you can do now, depending on the arrangements you have. A lot of hotels still have cancellation policies in effect, where you have up until 24 hours before mm. check-in. So if you were suddenly, you know, going to Tampa you could still potentially change your mind and get a full refund. Airlines also tend to be pretty good when there's some sort of a natural disaster in play, that if they're not flying there, that they're going to waive those change fees. You're not getting a refund, but you'll have that money to use toward another flight at some point when not you do want to Not refundable, but reusable. I think that's, exactly. that's the way to phrase that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're planning a trip to the Caribbean during uh, hurricane season, and I, I don't know quite why one would, but some people the would. The deals, I'm, the deals. The, the deals, I'm sure. They're uh, excellent. And, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> No kidding. So what can you do on insurance front and, and what are the pitfalls to avoid? Well, I mean, first you're going to look at some of the free protections that you have. A lot of the resorts down there and the airlines, other um, sites that you might book through, they will offer some sort of assistance for you if there's a hurricane heading your way, a credit usually toward a future visit. But really the best thing to do if you're planning on going down there, it is a little bit of a gamble this time of year. So you want to be looking for some of these paid protection plans or travel insurance that you might be able to get that let you cancel uh, without necessarily being down there in the middle of it and get your money back to get a hundred percent of your money about how much are we mm -hmm. talking um so sort of what sort of money well it, I mean, in, in terms of the cost of these yeah. um it can be very very minimal depends on how much coverage you want sometimes it's about as little as you know two to three percent of the cost of your trip sometimes mm. it's up to, upwards of 10 to 15 percent it depends on if you want these sort of policies where it's cancel for any reason that's you know literally i wake up tomorrow to said i don't want to go they're fine with that. You get some. You get but your you have money to back. Pay, you have to pay for pay for you that. Have to pay for I'm, that I'm wondering, could I get could I get an insurance against rain in Britain? What do you think of that? You think <laughs> probably not. I think probably. that's a little too broad. A little too broad. Okay. Well, great stuff. Have to be one heck of a storm. It would have to be an actual storm. <laughs>